Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I will explain how to draw different conic section curves using Fusion 360 software. So let us consider we have to draw an ellipse of major axis 100 mm and minor axis 70 mm using Fusion 360 software. So here this is the Fusion 360 software. So we have to create 2D sketch. So we can go to create and select create sketch option. Then we have to select plane on which we have to create the 2D sketch. So we can select any vertical plane. So I will select this. Now under this create there are different options to draw the curves. Line, rectangle, circle, arc, polygon, ellipse. So here ellipse option is there and by using this ellipse option we can define we can define center point of ellipse major axis length and minor axis length so i will select this ellipse option then we have to select the center so i will select this as a center then move the mouse select length of major axis then move mouse in vertical direction to select the minor axis length then we can give the dimensions so dimensions of this major axis so we have to take 100 mm major axis and 70 mm minor axis so major axis 100 mm and minor axis 70 mm so in this way we can draw the ellipse now we can capture this image so for that go to go to file and here it is option capture image so select this option tick on both the options and click on ok then it will ask for the location to save the image so we can select the path so here i have selected desktop so click on save now on desktop this curve is saved in the form of image now we need this sketch on a sheet so to get layout of the sheet we can go to design then drawing and select from design basically this option is used to get different views of 3d model but here i will use this option to get layout of the sheet so select this option click on ok then here keep this option by default and click on ok we can give the required name to the sheet so here we have to place the object so i will click here and click ok so i will get 2d diagram like this so this is not continuous line so i will select and delete this and here it is option insert so under insert we have insert image option so by using this option i will select image from my pc so i have captured ellipse image and it is saved on desktop so i will select this option insert from my computer and from desktop we can select this image so click on open click on this sheet and click ok so here it is the ellipse so we can place the object as per our requirement now we will see how to draw different conic section curve. so i will click on plus to get new sheet so here again we will go to create sketch command select vertical plane and under this create option here it is the conic curve option so before selecting this command we need to learn some basics about the conic curves here we can see this is one of the conic curve and this is the horizontal axis and this is the starting point of curve and this is the ending point of curve and here if you draw the tangent from these two ends those tangent will intersect at point so here this rho it is the ratio of distance d1 divided by distance d2 if this ratio is less than 0.5 then it is ellipse if this ratio is equal to 0.5 then it is parabola curve and if this ratio rho 
is greater than 0.5 then it is hyperbola so in fusion 360 software if you select that conic curve command then first we have to select this option then this option and then we have to click here so that we will get one curve and then we have to enter the value of rho so let us draw a hyperbola curve of rho is equal to 0.8 using fusion 360 software so go to fusion 360 software so here we are in sketch mode so i will select this conic curve command select first point of the conic curve select second point of conic curve and select third point of conic curve to locate the vertex i will select this origin as a third point then we have to give the row value so we can see here if row value is 0 then this curve is near to vertical line if it is 0.9 then it will be like this so here for hyperbola this row value is greater than 0.5 so i will select here 0.8 and press enter key then to capture this image we can select this fit option and then we can go to this file and capture image so again we can tick on this both option click on ok then select path as a desktop here we can give name to this curve as hyperbola so here we can select the location so i have selected desktop as a location to save the file then here we have already created one sheet and in the same sheet we can insert that curve so here it is insert option go to that select insert image option click on insert from my computer and select this hyperbola curve click on open we can place that object here click on ok so here we can increase the scale so it is very small so we can enter here 5 click ok so it will be larger so in this way we can insert the curves and here we can give the names so we can add here text so this is ellipse and for ellipse major axis is equal to 100 minor axis is equal to 80 then for hyperbola so we can write here hyperbola rho is equal to 0 0.8 now we can export this pdf so click on export select export pdf click on ok so i will select desktop to save that pdf so here engineering curves click on save so here we can double click on this to open and we can take print out of this pdf thank you